Parallelogram ABCD is drawn, BF is perpendicular to AFD, and DE is perpendicular to BEC. So in this problem, we're trying to prove that BEDF is a rectangle. Now, the approach that I'm taking here, this is not the, um, the only way that we can approach this. There are different angles that we can attack this from. Uh, the way that I'm approaching this is just the way that I find it to be most efficient, okay? And uh, the way that I thought of this problem is to show that a quadrilateral is a rectangle, we have to show that there is at least three right angles present in the quadrilateral. And if we can show that, then, um, then we're pretty much done. And it, it can be easily shown here because we have BFA, which I'm going to uh, label as angle one. Uh, and angle BFD, which I want to label as angle 2, is also 90 degrees because those two angles, angles 1 and angles 2 together, they are supplementary. And since angle 1 is 90, angle 2 therefore also has to equal to 90. I want to label angle EDF as angle 3, uh, FBE as angle 4, angle BED as 5, and angle DEC as 6. And um, my attempt is to show that actually all of these angles are going to be 90 degrees. And how are we going to do that? So uh, angle 5 here, you know, we, um, we can show that angle 5 is equal to 96 because is equal to 90 because angle 6 is also equal to 90. And the two angles together are linear pairs. And since uh, BE is parallel to FD because opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. Angle 2 and 4 are going to be consecutive interior angles. And we understand that consecutive interior angles are going to be supplementary. Since angle 2 is 90, angle 4 therefore also has to be 90. And then the same argument can be made about angle 3. right? Since angle 5 and 3 are consecutive interior angles and angle 5 is 90 degrees, Angle 3, therefore, also has to be 90 degrees, and that's why BEDF is a rectangle. Now, how are we going to put all this in a two, uh, in a statement and reason um, proof? Well, I wrote down the, uh, the givens in the statement and reason chart already. I am going to now um, go through and label or add in those labels. So I know that angle AFB, or BFA rather, I'm, gonna call, I'm calling that angle 1. I'm calling angle uh, BFD. I'm calling that angle 2. And I'm going to call angle uh, FDE 3. And angle FBE is 4. Angle BED is 5, and angle uh, DEC is 6. Why am I doing this? Because in a moment I'm going to have to add various angles together, so it'll be just slightly easier um, in me addressing those angles rather than uh, in, in this kind of like numbered form rather than addressing it with um, with the three letter notations. So, and the reason for this is labeling and renaming. We apply this trick all the time in algebra. Algebra and geometry, they they coexist, one cannot exist without the other. So this technique of renaming things to um, for our benefit, okay, that can be applied universally in, uh, under any, any kind of situation. So I've renamed them and I've um, labeled those angles there. Why, why am I going to do that? Or what is the benefit of doing this? So now I don't have to, I don't have to call the angles by those three letters. I can say angle one plus angle two must equal to 180. And similarly, I can say uh, angle 5 and angle 6 is also equal to 180. Right? So again, 1 and 2, 5 and 6 is equal to 180. And why is that? That's because linear pairs are 
are supplementary. Whoops. And the same reason for that last statement I wrote. <clears throat> Actually, I'll write the diddle marks just a little lower. Okay. Uh, and then statement seven. Um, now that I've established that these are equal to, uh, the sum of those things are equal to 180, I can then say, um, I can also establish that angle one is equal to angle uh, six, and this is equal to 90 degrees. And why is that the case? Well, that's because perpendicular lines Uh, form 90 degrees, form right angles, and these right angles are 90 degrees each. Okay, so why is that important? Well, there is a theorem in, um, that was shown during the uh, during the lessons, regular lessons, geometry lessons in my lesson series, uh, that angle <clears throat> that supplements of congruent angles are going to be congruent, right? Since angle one is equal to angle six, therefore we can say angle two is going to equal to angle five, and both of these are therefore going to equal to ninety degrees. Right, and the reason for this is I can say supplements of congruent angles are congruent and they're all equal to 90 degrees supplements of congruent angles are congruent and they all equal to 90 okay so because of this okay I can then say uh, well, actually not because of this uh, I, I uh, the next thing that I have to say is that BE is parallel to FD and why is that well that's because opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. Why is that important? Why is saying BE parallel to FD important? Well then I can, uh, as a consequence of that, I can then say angle 2 and 4 are consecutive interior angles and that they are supplementary. I can then say in statement 10, Angle 2 and 4 is equal to 180. And similarly, I can say angle uh, 3 and 5 is equal to 180. And what's the reason for this? This is because consecutive interior angles are supplementary. And the same for the statement below it. Okay, so these, uh, those angles are going to be supplementary because consecutive interior angles are going to be supplementary. One more time, B and FD are parallel lines, two and four, consecutive interior they must be they must add up to 180 same thing with three and five all right so since i know two and five uh, are 90 degrees uh, we can then establish again for the same reasons right that um three and four 
are going to be equal, are going to be congruent. Again, looking at line number 8, right? 2 is equal to 5. And looking at this information over here between 10 and 11, again, I can make the same argument and I can say that supplements of congruent angles are going to be congruent. And just to... So I can say 3 is equal to 4, well, at the same time, that 2 is also equal to 90. Right? Since 2 is equal to 5 is equal to 90, 3 and 4 are equal, and they both equal to 90 as well. So I can say again, uh, supplements of congruent angles are congruent. So since I've established now that um, all the angles are 90 degrees inside uh, quadrilateral uh, BD, BEDF, I can then declare, I can then declare in statement number 13 that BEDF is a rectangle. Because all angles two, three, so I say two is equal to three, which is equal to four, which is equal to five, are all equal to ninety degrees. And that's pretty much it.